2024 is in a few days, so I wanted to take the time to prepare myself for 2024, practice self-care, implement some goals and resolutions, just so we can start the year off strong. So first things first, we need to focus on the physical aspect. I stand by when you look good, you feel good. So here I am on the way to my wax appointment. And of course we can't have down there bald and everything else is hairy. So I did an everything shower routine, shaving the rest of my body. And when I tell you I felt so good and smooth after, this was very much needed. Next, I'm doing my hair. My hair is always the most important thing I feel like I have to have done. So here I was reinstalling this wig. This was my first time doing a reinstall on myself. I definitely need a lot more practice, but I just wanted something quick for the new year. So while I was letting the lace melt, I decided to clean my room, declutter it. We can't go into a new year with the same old messy room. Clean space, clean mind. Alright guys, so now we're going to reflect on 2023. I do have my vision board that I made for this year. I made this December 28th, 2022, so that's exactly a year from today. I was trying to find my New Year's resolutions too, so we can see if we lived up to that and actually follow through. And I could not find no New Year's resolutions that I made, so I'm like, did I not make any? I don't know, but we're just going to look at the vision board. So first I do have this airplane that stands for catching flights, not catching feelings, just kidding, because I definitely did that. But anyways, um, y'all, we did not catch flights this year. I went to Orlando, Miami, West Palm. I just went to cities around me, but we did not go to Jamaica like I wanted to. So we'll try again this year or next year. Um, next, we do have a girl laying in money that stands for financial abundance, financial stability which we did not do <laughs> i was broke guys i'm just saying i be calling myself broke i don't be broke for real but like i just don't budget good and i have a spending problem so if i didn't spend all my money i would be laying in money like that but i do have a spending problem but we're gonna fix that in 2024 next we do have these two girls so this should stand for me my bestie that's going out having fun and this group picture with all those girls also that's like the same thing just going out having fun with your friends next we do have this girl her body is snatched she's in a gym she has like a six pack um we was in a gym but it was on and off um i was so consistent like two months before my birthday and leading up to my birthday so i could look snatched and i sure did look snatched for my birthday but when we came back we fell off we fell off guys and i went back to the gym but like i said it'd be on and off so that was like a so so um we do have this girl in a fit that stood for like taking more pictures looking cute putting on some cute outfits which i did do um, I think I did post more than, or actually I don't know, but I know I did post like a good amount of pictures this year. I archived them, <laughs> like most of them, but I was taking pictures and putting on some cute fits for Instagram. Next, we do have this girl with pink hair. I do love trying color. As you guys can see, I do have the blonde. 
I didn't try pink, but this didn't really stand for like trying color. It was more like getting my hair done. I told you guys I stand by looking good and feeling good. So that was kind of about that. Next, we do have this picture. Her tattoo says Walk by Faith. And so first, I did want to get a Walk by Faith tattoo, which I did do. I also did want to like have it there um to remind me to walk by faith and you know walk with god and get closer to him you know i always do talk to god um go to church and stuff but i feel like i didn't do as much as i should have like reading my bible every day even if it's just like one little verse in the morning or at night um so i did not do that like i said i always do talk to him though like mostly in the morning before i go to sleep but i also do want to start like doing it more throughout the day like just talking to him like he's my friend so that is so so as well next we have a paper it says a 10 out of 10 so that stood for getting good grades staying focused on school i did start to get very unmotivated with school i still graduated so that's an accomplishment but if you guys watched my graduation video, I was saying it was God because like I said, I was unmotivated with school. I was doing my work, but I would be doing it last minute. I would be rushing to do it. So I say that's a so-so too. I definitely was procrastinating. It was, mm -mm. we need to do better this year. So overall guys, I would say this vision board, was, I wouldn't say it was a fail, but I feel like I didn't live up to it as much as I should have. So we're going to make a whole new vision board for 2024. I'm actually going to write down like the steps I'm going to take to actually get there. And then also I did put the vision board as my wallpaper, but I feel like I wasn't really, like I knew it was there, but I wouldn't take the time to look at it and like, you know, check in with myself and be like, did I achieve this goal? Did I achieve this goal? So I want to do this with my vision board for 2024. Also, I want you guys to come back to this video in two to three months and give me an update on your vision boards and your goals and resolutions. If you're taking the steps to achieve them, if you've already achieved them, I would love to know. And even if you're slacking, I want you guys to be 100% honest, be like, I haven't been really, you know, doing this and this, but I am taking these steps to get back on track. Okay, so next, I did find a few journal prompts to reflect on 2023. So I'm going to go ahead and write those down and answer those and I'll show you once I'm done. So I just wrote down the prompts of the questions for my 2023 reflection. So the first question is, what are you proud of yourself for? I put I'm proud of myself for graduating with my associate's degree, starting my Etsy shop. If you guys don't know, I do have an Etsy shop. I do graphic designs. Um, I haven't really told anyone about my Etsy shop. I posted it on my Instagram story like two or three times. But yes, I do have an Etsy shop where I sell like editable Canva designs. So I will link that in the description if you guys are interested in that. I put standing on business, although it did take me a little while i did stand on business and i'm still standing on business if you know you know i do feel like i do have the capability to like stay calm in a lot of situations and stay positive always making light out of situations if you know me you know i always do have a smile on my face like at work people are like they'd be like he's smiling like i love your smile and stuff so yeah the next question is is there anything that held you back from accomplishing your goals this year so i put procrastination scared to get myself out there so what i mean by that is like even when i'm like promoting my youtube on my instagram like i'm just posting a youtube video or even just like posting a regular like you know selfie i took or like um instagram fit picture especially like as a main post the stories i'm okay but as a main post when i tell you like i'd be so scared like <laughs> i don't know what i'd be scared of like i'd just be scared for people to be looking at me i don't know and I have a YouTube, so it's like, I don't know how to explain it. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys understand, but I know what I mean. So I put that for myself and I put failure to budget. I already said that in this video, I have a spending money problem. And half of the time, I don't even know where my money be going. Like I know, I know I'll be spending it on like food, clothes. I feel like I don't even buy clothes as much. I haven't been for like the last month or two. So I don't know, but yeah so your budget next question is what will your life look like in the new year 
so I put new environment at a new school if you guys know um, I do plan on transferring to FAMU I have been in the city that I am now all my life so I have never like experienced like a new environment or new people I've experienced new people of course but the college I'm at now the people are like the same people from high school and then the people from high school is like the same people from middle school so I'm excited to just be in a whole new environment with fresh faces next is more careful with my money I already explained that the ability to set boundaries with people and putting myself before others no more people pleasing I am a people pleaser um, like a lot of times I'd be wanting to say no to things but I still say yes because I like to make people happy and there's no problem with that but I feel like sometimes like I'm upset that I couldn't say no because you know I wanted to make them happy and I'm like I should care about making myself happy so the next question is what would I have done differently so I put cutting people off immediately when they've shown you time and time again what kind of person they are so that kind of goes with setting boundaries i do be cutting people off but i be letting them play my face several times and i'm never doing it again y'all after they show you the first time leave guys i need to do that start leaving after the first red flag i believe in giving people second chances but some people just what they say what they say you let them slide and they gonna start roller skating <laughs> 2024 you play my face one time and you cut Maybe two, two, three chances. <laughs> Taking two to three hours out my day to study daily or just even a few times a week. As I told you guys, I was very unmotivated with school this year. So, um, especially the classes I was taking, I was taking statistics and microbiology. So those are harder classes. So you definitely have to take time out of your day to actually study for those. Like you can't just go into the class for a test and think you could just pass it by going to a few classes. Like you actually have to study. If you guys go on my page, you'll see like, I'll post four months ago and then it'll be like a month ago. So I feel like if I definitely stayed consistent and posted like weekly, my subscribers definitely would have been up there and I would be at where I want to be. Now on to our goals and resolutions for 2024. Okay, so I have my resolutions all written up. So I didn't do anything too extravagant. I'm not gonna say they're small, but something that I know I can achieve, like realistic goals. And I also put the steps that I'm going to take to get there. So the first one is budgeting and saving money, of course. And I put that I'm going to take a certain amount of money out of each paycheck and put it into my savings. And I'm also going to create a budget tracker. Next, I put taking my Etsy shop more serious. As I told you, I haven't really told people about my Etsy shop. I posted it a few times on my Instagram. So I do want to take that more serious. I'm not sure if you guys see on Instagram and TikTok like how much money you can make selling digital products. And you can do everything from your phone. So I definitely want to take that more serious, especially since I'm already good with like graphic design. So it's like, you know, why not? So um, I put that I'm going to post a listing at least once a week and promote myself on Instagram, TikTok. I don't know if I'm going to post it. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like, I'd be nervous. Like, I'm like, do I want to post it on TikTok? I don't know. Next, I put travel. Um, I didn't really put no steps for that because you just have to book the flight. <laughs> um, next, I put focus on school. So I put that I'm going to set time aside to study, like I said, two to three hours a day or even just like a few times out of the week. It doesn't have to be every day. Next, I put starting my day early. So I'm going to go to sleep earlier, stay off my phone when I wake up. I swear, guys, I can wake up at like 9 a.m. and I will stay on my phone in my bed till 11. So it's like at that point, I didn't even wake up early because I just stayed in bed. So when I wake up, I want to start not going on my phone, like start with reading the Bible, getting my day started, getting in the shower, going to the gym, and we can go on the phone after. Next, I put being consistent in the gym. So usually um, when I would go to the gym, I would like to go five days a week, so Monday through Friday. So I put, you know, since I haven't been in a while and I'd be on and off, I put that I can start off with two to three days. And of course, as I start going more, we can get into five days. So I think it's best to start small. For the first couple of weeks, you might be going five days, but then it gets, you know, too much for you. So I think 
um, starting small is definitely a helpful way to start and just build yourself up from there. And lastly, I put get to a thousand subscribers. So currently I am at 766 subscribers. I feel like I can definitely get to a thousand if I post consistently. I kind of feel like a thousand subscribers is a little too low, but I'm just gonna say a thousand for now. If I reach a thousand, I can always go back and like edit the goal. So I could be like get to 3000 subscribers. Also, I do want to start doing quarterly reminders. So I was watching Ken and Marie's video on her prepare for 2024. And she said she was going to start doing quarterly reminders. So like every three months, she was going to make a reminder in her calendar, basically just checking in on her goals, if she's on track to achieving them, if she has achieved them already. And like I said, with my vision board this year, I feel like I wasn't really looking at it and actually having it like inspire me and being like am i on track to accomplishing those goals etc so we're going to set those quarterly reminders right now guys so the vision board is finished so the first picture as i said earlier i did want to travel to jamaica this year which i did not do so i put this on here it doesn't even have to be jamaica just anywhere out the country and then there's this picture with money and it also has a passport so um obviously the financial abundance being financially stable and the passport was there so that kind of went hand in hand with the traveling next we have this picture that says total sales so this is for my etsy shop of course just having more sales on my etsy shop being more consistent we have this picture of this youtube plaque i think the youtube plaque is like a hundred thousand subscribers obviously i'm not expecting to reach all of that in 2024 but it's just being consistent on youtube getting more subscribers then we have this picture of this girl in a face mask and underneath i put romanticize your life on it so that's just, you know, investing into myself, having self-care days, just bettering myself as a person. Um, we have this workout picture that's being consistent in the gym, of course. There's this picture of this person studying me. We have a Jesus loves me picture, of course, that's my faith journey. I found this picture of, I think it's a football game, but it's the FAMU Stadium. So that's, of course, going to FAMU this year getting accepted into the school. There's a I will succeed in college sticker under the studying thing. And then lastly, we have this picture of a bunch of girls. It looks like they're on a jet ski. So that's of course just having fun. I'm going to be 20 in 2024. Mark the date, April 1st. So that's of course just living my life, having fun and being 20 and fun guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i gave you some motivation for the new year to do your resolutions and your goals and your vision board and like i said remember to come back to this video and update me on your resolutions and goals and how that's going for you the steps you've been taking to get there and yes i'm excited to see what you guys have to say and i am very excited to start this new year guys the new year's eve is on a sunday and then New Year's is on a Monday. So I feel like it's such a fresh start. Like it starts at the beginning of the week. And I am very excited to see what the new year brings for me. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to turn that bell to be notified every single time I post a video. Thank you guys.